Hello, on this episode, this is Nanzo, no? Anyway, on this episode, we're talking about putting the ceiling on the FRP installation. So right here, um, I decided to go with this kind of um, installation. Um, there's other type, but because I'm not gonna be using um, plywood um, over, I'm trying to, uh, because the, the, the trailer is 6.8 6 feet high that's the height and i'm already put a plywood on the bottom which i added that i don't want to put on the plywood on the top so i don't want it to get down to like maybe 6.1 or six foot high you know clearance so i'm trying to keep as much as i can um so that's why i chose to use this kind of um um installation which i'm now putting a wood to brace it so i kind of uh do a pile you know I think I'm using a pilot hole. I'm not sure about. Um, I'm just bracing it with more wood. Um, I did. Um, I did use a liquid nail to glue them. Glue them on. Um, now we're putting the FRP. That is, uh, that's my helper. Um, helping me um, put my FRP up there. So these are gonna be a little bit. Well, in case if you're wondering who's my helper. Uh, I have two helpers there. <laughs> the um, her, Lily, and the thing that is standing up there. I know there's another boy over there going around, but he's just playing with his uh, toys. Uh, I mean, he was okay. He just want to hang around with us. Um, so that being said, so just measuring, cutting, making sure everything's lined up, uh, screwed on. Some of these are screwed on already, so they're not gonna fall. But we just put in the the zip uh the zip wall to hold that try to see if that will you know take maybe the glue or whatever you need to use so but again a lot of measurement try to align it um seeing how i could do it if i could get away with not cutting any piece that's all this is all about you know i don't want to I just want to do less work as much as possible. Um, so that's where this is, uh, you know, a lot of um, coordinating, lining it up, trying to see if I could have it straight, even, I mean, whatever I'm trying to get to, to a point. Then I stand outside and look at it, see if it's in the middle of the... So another way maybe next time I could have done this is I drew a line in the middle before I started yes but again I'm I'm going by what I felt that was right during the moment so I'm just doing it that way then I'm, now I'm putting a screw um, a screw with a washer on this uh, um, I decided that I went to look I, I was able to get a white screw but I didn't find a white washer so but I'm using a white washer but I will I will show you what I did to get a white wash. I just had to spray. So then what I'm trying to do here is I try to use the holes on the, um, the stud, which are like two feet apart. That's what it, they'll be nailed to. Um, they'll be screwed onto the nail. Um, so just adjusting, you know, having, you know, trying to have it work, you know, how am I going to do it, put it apart. Um, then the bracelet, I have to mark also where everything is so that I don't have to do too much hole or too much pilot hole. Some of them I have to do a pilot hole uh, because the store was very... Then I use an inch, I use an inch um, self-drill stainless screw. Um, again, I, I, you can't use three inch because you don't want to go through the roof, uh, you know. So again, you adjust based on what you're doing um, so that's where those are now being held all by themselves that's where that is going um, then I needed uh, support so I went and put in a wood then I had to I took that part down a little bit screwed up I just had to do a support because I needed I didn't have nothing to screw up the support so that's what all this is all about
and all these uh, kind of um, it is it it didn't it, it just more of um trying to you definitely do need help <laughs> aligning these up there because um it's, it's um you know working over your head is I I don't I really seen that so now there is the washes that we're talking about so um that's what I did you know I had it on a then got um. Um, I went to Home Depot, bought um, one of these paints. I think it was like five or six dollars. Don't quote me on it. Um, then just sprayed it. Then left it on a sunny day. I think I uh, left it um, uh, maybe two, three hours. I'm not sure what was the right time, but I just left it, make sure it was cured and off. And um, you know, then I, I, I think I needed to use it the same day. So then I started using it. Um, that's what I did. And of course, uh, while you're doing this, make sure you cover your, you know, wear protective wear gear, cover your nose. There's, you know, you don't want to be smelling out some of these stuff. Uh, they're bad. You know, they could harm you in the future, you know. So, and um, I have my audience actually looking at what I'm doing, observing. Anyway, that's what it is. Um, so that's that part. There he is. Uh, it was really, really sunny that day, so I couldn't. I was trying to get the sh get out of the way, the shadow, so you could see. So now, um, like I said, all these were done. If you watch now. On this part you know the floor well I've put the plywood on the floor is not done but I'm kind of leaning the juice so I just cut in the size that I want I've done that side then um, then on the left side you see the paper that is on the wall there's again those are my diagram those are some of my measurements uh, so I use those to try to while I'm working seeing it where do I want the sink done where do I, I want the sink located where do I want um, the hand single, um, the three basing located? Where do I want it? So we did that. We got it finished anyway. Not the body. So that's what it looks like. The top. So the circle I put there is where the the um, the lights are gonna be. That's where that is. So I'm so I gotta go in and cut it. Yes, maybe I could should have cut it before, but I'm still, I'm going by how I then see the wires run on the end on the sides. So that tells me I ran all the wire on that side on the on the trim. So that tells me so that when I'm to avoid those area, I didn't just randomly run the wire. So that's where it is. So that's what it looks like right now. Then of course, um, it's all keep going. The windows I still have to do all that. The sides. Um, then right here, again going up again. Um, if you watch the electrical part that I did, I did cut this to size. And this part, you see seeing that now the floor has been done. So I did the top, then screwed everything, did the, the, the floor, then go back to do some of the walls, you know? So because I haven't installed the panel, I already ran the wire, but I have to put that before I saw so using the level make sure everything's straight you know try to straighten out so this is where that is going uh, some of these uh, they're not really the FRP is not really that you know it wasn't is a the i think i used the 0 0.09 i'm not sure what it is a thick one so that's the why i'm running now for the panel box i you know i got it out so that i could you know it goes over there uh, the fab is not really that you know you just cutting it you have to make sure you mark it you know mark it right have the right you know put it where they're supposed to have the, the divider so just working with it it's not really that difficult it, um, it just is one of those things you, you gotta cut it you know 
measure twice, measure three times, cut once. Uh, because you want to avoid, uh, you just want to avoid um, waste. Um, that's just what it is. You know, you don't want to be cutting stuff randomly. And that's what that is. And I think again, checking my notes, my reference, then saying bye to my to my paper. So that's starting. That's where that one is. You know. At least I'm I'm now looking at it. Okay, this is how this is gonna be. This is what if you know if I do the rest, I'm just visualizing it. Then this is the FRP I was talking about. This we are at Home Depot. Then this is the if you see how flimsy that is. I think those are like twenty five dollars poly frame, which I end up using this. Not on all of it. On the trim, I use on the same part of the trim. You wouldn't know. Or this one, this I don't either that one or this one. I forgot which I use, but that's not what I was using for the wall. Oh, these are flimsy. See how they are, you know. That will need that needs help. That needs a backing, and these are what I'm trying to avoid on top, um, because I I don't have I don't have a plywood for support. So now I'm gonna show you the one I use. Uh, I think these are like. 40, 41 point something, you know, I think almost $42. So these are the one I use. They're thicker. Um, that's what I use. Um, some with some with glue, some some part with glue, some without glue. Then I use the end cap. He has an end cap, he has a divider, he has all the stuff that I used to to check everything. Make sure everything is working. Yeah, they do have it in more than one color and more, more than one variation. See, those are the parts. Yeah, and the, so again, thank you. This is Nanzo. Thanks.